The calories burned on your Apple Watch means absolutely nothing, so here's why you should stop paying attention to this and start paying attention to this. In order to lose body fat, you need to be in a caloric deficit. In order to be in a caloric deficit, you have to understand your metabolism. And if you wait to the very end, you'll see why the calories on your Apple Watch means literally nothing. This right here is your metabolism. This is what determines if you lose weight, gain weight, or maintain weight. And these are the four different categories that contribute the most to your metabolism. And the biggest chunk of your metabolism is your basal metabolic rate. The basal metabolic rate is the calories that you burn doing nothing. So when you're laying in bed at night, when you are sitting at your desk all day for work, whatever you're doing, your body just to stay alive, just to keep your body functioning, your body's burning calories. And the most amazing thing is that you can speed up this portion of your metabolism doing one simple thing and that is building more muscle mass. Having more muscle mass on your body because it's an expensive tissue, meaning it requires more calorie burn to maintain on your body, this means you are going to burn more calories on a daily basis. Do you see why I talk so much about building muscle now on my channel? The second biggest portion, the 15%, is your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. This is essentially the things that we do on a daily basis that are not necessarily exercise, but it's just activity. So tapping your foot, going on walks and funny enough the two ways that you can increase this 15% is by getting more steps and being more active if you do both of those things more on a daily basis you're going to burn more calories this is why the two things that I talk about the absolute most with all my clients is working out consistently to build muscle and getting more movement eight to ten thousand steps on a daily basis those are gonna be the two biggest contributors to our fat loss because it's going to speed up our metabolism the third most important factor the 10% is the thermic effect of food. This is why when our clients first sign up with us, we go through a journey of increasing calories. Why? Because this is actually going to burn more calories. And the easiest way to speed up that process is eating more protein. Because to break down protein, our body has to burn even more calories to digest the food. Last and most certainly least, the 5%, which is the smallest amount of your calorie burn on a daily basis, no matter what class, no matter what kind of workout, no matter how much cardio you're doing, the 5% of your metabolism is your exercise. And these workouts are going to be the smallest contributing factor to your metabolism. This is why all of your focus should be on building more muscle, getting more movement, eating more protein. And the least of your focus and effort should be how many calories am I burning in my workouts. And so if there's anything that you take away from this video today, it is that the least of your worries is tracking your calories on your Apple Watch, when in reality, all of your focus should be on building muscle, getting more movement, Movement, getting more steps, eating more protein, because those are going to have the biggest contributing factors to burning more calories. If you burn more calories every day, you don't have to cut out as many of the foods that you love and enjoy. What is this going to do? It's going to make fat loss stupid simple. And if you want more stupid, simple, no bullshit fitness advice, subscribe to my channel and I look forward to bringing you more value. Have the best day of your entire life. We'll talk soon. Peace.